All right, this next step. Oh, my paper's not straight. There, we recovered. <clears throat> All right. Uh, this next one uh, I like to show because this one's really uh, quite interesting for my students uh, because it shows how you can really create an illusion of depth. And now I'm going to put the horizon line down low today and I'm going to put a single vanishing point over here. This could be two point perspective, but for all intents and purposes, we just need the one. Um, you put your starting line over here near the near the side, about an inch away from the edge of the paper. And I like to start uh, maybe about a half an inch away from the edge of the paper, and I want to come up till uh, you know to the almost to the top, about you know an inch or so away from the top. This as if uh, what well, what we're recreating here is if there's a very long straight road that's here, and there's a telephone pole or power pole. <coughs> along the side of that road. And then there would be another one and another one and they would progressively get shorter. You know, things that in perspective that are in distance are perceived smaller than something that is closer. So to do this, we need our vanishing lines to our vanishing point. <clears throat> and then we're going to put our second hole here between our vanishing points um, or sorry between our vanishing lines this doesn't matter where it is but I like to uh, have that be about halfway between the vanishing point and the original starting point line here because if you put this line too far this way it gets way too cramped way too fast <clears throat> as you'll see so here again, we have a space and we need to establish the middle part. And we'll see why that's important here momentarily. But again, we're thinking about uh, the next step where we just want the middle point and you can see that that's going to come through about right here. So all I need to do is make a line similar to that. And then just that across. Now we need to be able to create a line from here to our vanishing point because we need to know halfway in within the rules of perspective halfway between the top and the bottom of that line and subsequently all the lines we're going to create <clears throat> so this line I like to make it extremely light because I need to erase the whole thing that is a construction line for sure <clears throat> now <clears throat> Um, now what you need to do is you're going to uh, start in, uh, I like to go from the bottom corner because there's not as much room down here below the horizon line uh, to create lines, but from here through the middle here, I'm going to draw a line and then I'm going to stop when I get to that edge here and I'm going to draw this line in so that you can see the steps that I've taken but that is a construction line we don't need it <clears throat> now if you are not uh, confident in in uh, putting parallel lines in because of this space what you can do is you can draw another line from here through here and stop here and that gives you two points to connect I'm not super worried about it uh, and having this clear ruler helps a little bit but um, I can drop that second line or that third line in. So here's our first one, second one, and third one. And then here's the steps. This is the pattern. Once you finish a, a, a vertical line, you go back one. Okay, that's your new starting point. And then you go through here and you stop here. And I'm not going to draw that line. I'm just going to create a little hash mark, which is much easier to erase what I don't need draw the next one in all the way down to the vanishing line here and then come back one and then up here and then I can draw that line in and 
this can turn into any number of things. Telephone poles, they can be, they can be uh, you know, the basic structure of trees going into the distance uh, a lot that are lining a street. They can be archways in uh, a structure uh, because in a previous video we learned how to do ellipses where you would then be able to create the middle, figure out the middle here with a single uh, diagonal line, and then map out your ellipse, and that would be, that would be very exciting. Um, this is very fun. So, you know, a lot of my students that enjoy math, this makes a lot of sense to them. It also makes sense to, to those that maybe struggle at math, but this is, this is a nice pattern and can create lots of depth and detail and structure and take out the guesswork. 